be that top girl, just take the extraordinaire. Wanna east to the beat in the flash of flare. Eat you out of house or home, no thought or care. Fridge empty, cup is bare. The one that rip snacks out of school backpacks. It's looking over the shoulders, man. Like Michael Jackson, I'll be there eating like Pac-Man. Dig it in your candy dish. Yo, it's a rap, son. Yo, who be that? Badlands, baby. No with fans, or so maybe devour like crazy. Yo, I'm like the dog in the Looney Tune, baby. I guess the steak be like. Yeah, superhero with a fork and spoon. Train like X Men in the danger room. Like a pirate, lower epicurean booms quicker than soon. Pre masticate and doom. On all trash talking, son of a gun. They don't know I'm buffet enemy number one. Hey, Donnie. Hey, you say, man. How are you doing? Hey, I first met Donnie when he was, what, 10, maybe 11. He came in here and ate two Philly cheesesteaks and soda. Then he turns to me and says, How about some garlic fry? You kidding me? Garlic fries on top of that? Since then, I took him under my wing as a fellow eater. This kid's like a Mozart, only with cheesesteaks. You know, ever since he was born, I knew Donnie was a champion. I knew he had it in him. I didn't know what it was. I didn't find out until later it was food, but I knew he was a champion. You know, one time someone told me Donnie had an eating disorder. <laughs> disorder? It's not a disorder. It's a talent. And when you have a talent, you develop it. Don always wanted Donnie to be the kind of kid who would catch all the touchdowns, hit all the home runs, but he's not. So as soon as he started showing any potential in eating, Don jumped on that. We got a coach, and now he's helping him excel. He's got it in his mouth. He's looking a little stuck. Takes that sip of water, swishes it around, breaks it down. There's the slurp but he's got air, and there's no room for that air, mm -hmm. so it's gotta come out. There's the burp, got it? <laughs> that's, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Can't use it every time, but it's a good weapon to have yeah. in your arsenal. Hi, I'm Dwayne Full. I'm Donnie's coach. Uh, 1979 national hot dog eating champion. Had a few years of success, but then uh, had my career cut short with a jaw dislocation, occurred in a competition, and uh, never could come back from that. I've been around competitive eating for a few decades now and used to be that you could have some talent and work hard and have success, but now we've got professional eaters that are on the circuit 365 days a year. Take somebody like Donnie that's got incredible natural talent. I think he's going to have incredible success out there. There, you see that? Yeah, that's the shimmy shake. You know what that's for? Things out. Yeah, exactly. You got something stuck in your esophagus, you give it a little hip move and it's going to take it. Give, give it give it a try. Alright. All right. Yeah, yeah. Keep it moving up. That's good. So, there's a few things you need to do on an ongoing basis. One is keep working that jaw. You exercise that. Other, make sure your stomach elasticity stays All right. good. All okay, right. you get those two together, you're a weapon of mass digestion. And go. Use a two bite, Donnie. Next one, you got to use a two bite. You are halfway there. That's good. That's good. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Can't slow down. Can't slow down. Come on. He needs to work on his pacing, though. He starts off too strong, and he gets to that seventh minute, which is where most eaters hit a wall. He takes on a slow backyard barbecue style of eating. I want him to pace himself more like a Muhammad Ali with a rope-a-dope, where he hangs back, keeps something in reserve. While all the other eaters are tiring out their jaws, he waits and waits, and at the last minute, bam, he goes for that knockout punch. When Donnie eats, he eats for the whole family. When we sit down to dinner and the food goes in front of Donnie, we're right there with him. And that's why we're all joining him on his training diet. All right, guys. What is this? It's dinner, honey. Put you on a low calorie intake diet in order to save your appetite for the big contests. I don't need to improve my appetite. I'm fine. Donnie, please listen to your father. He only wants you to win. We all want you to win. We're in it as a family. If you want to be a champion, you got to make sacrifices. He's absolutely right, honey. There you go, kid. Ah, it's good. Oh. 
What's the matter, Donnie? You lost your appetite? I, I got an asparagus one tomorrow. Asparagus? Jesus, Donnie, that's disgusting. I have to do it, Bob. I have no choice. Donnie, look at me, son. You always have a choice. You don't have to eat anything you don't want to eat. I want you to be your own eater, son. Got that? You know what? I'm hungry. Let's get a burrito. Hey, what's that for? Helps get me into my food zone. What's your food zone? For this burrito, it's gonna be flamenco. Consume that asparagus. You're gonna grind it up and eat it. Okay, Tony. Yeah, Steve. Keep this loose. Keep the jaw loose. That's good. That's good. Okay, you're gonna bite, grind, bite, grind. I don't know, Dwayne. These vegetarians are making me nervous. Yeah, Don. Uh, they know the vegetables, but no killer instinct. Get yeah, Donnie. You're loose. I'm gonna get you checked in. Hey champ, how you doing? Well, I'm not, I'm not doing too well, Pop. What, my kid not feeling like eating? Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm full. You're on a training diet, you're not full. It's just nerves. Well, I gotta tell you, Pop. Last night I had burritos. You did what? I had burritos. Burritos? How many burritos? Five to six. What? How could you do this to me? I was hungry. I wanted burritos. Of course you're hungry. You're supposed to be hungry. You're supposed to be hungry this morning. Don't you care about what we're doing? Well, who is freaking asparagus anyway? job down at the end. Don't worry about her. EMTs are going to be on her in five, ten minutes. Hey, 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 what's going on here? My kid does not puke. What's wrong with this asparagus? What's it from Salinas? We got an E. coli outbreak? Hey, it's local organic, man. I'm not even sure this is regulation. Hey, Dwayne, What's the regulation on asparagus? Nine inches. Eleven and a half well, inches. It's it's asparagus. It's asparagus. You puke, you're disqualified. Disqualified? Who's disqualified now? Hey, you think this is funny? I cleared his place. You want me to clear yours? Come on, Donnie, let's go. Man, these carnivores are so uptight. Donnie? We made you something special. Is it meatloaf? Yeah. You come here. Look, I know I messed up, and I promise you, I will never make you go to another eating contest again. 
uh, unless you want to. Okay. Donnie, there's something I should tell you. I heard from the Green Grower Society. There was an investigation by the American Federation of Competitive Eating. And it turns out that asparagus was not regulation. What does that mean for Donnie? Well, it means he gets back the points that he lost for what disqualified him the first time around. And that means you still qualify for the Great American Hot Dog Eating Contest. But listen, it's up to you. It's only if you want to. I'm gonna do it, Pop. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not gonna let some asparagus ruin my career. As always, loves it. I haven't seen a crowd this energetic since the 91 Sauerkraut und Wurst Championship in Berlin. Chambers is focused. He's driven. He's eating with a sense of urgency now. He's in the state of nirvana. The food zone, some call it. He's found his food zone. Here's the defending champion, the devourer. Look at the way he cocks his head back and swallows like a pelican. Incredible technique, ladies and gentlemen. Will anyone be able to catch him? Oh no, it looks like Chambers is choking. But what's this? The shimmy shake. I don't believe my eyes. He's a natural. You can't teach this, ladies and gentlemen. He's the definition of clutch, powering through the pain on the number 37. Still, two hot dogs behind the devourer. Will he catch him? The Devourer and Chambers are cheek to cheek, jaw to jaw, each completing hot dog number 41. 20 seconds left! Chambers is eating with a sense of urgency now! He knows what's at stake! Could it be? Could it be? The crowd is on their feet! The Devourer is burning out! Here Chow Hound goes! One more down the hatch! Three, two, one! And we have a winner! Chow Hound Chambers! 42 hot dogs, a state record. This kid is going to New York City to compete in the National Hot Dog Eating Championships. The youngest ever! From the ballparks to the all you can eat. Every eater in this side of the Mississippi is gonna know his name. From the street vendors to the grill houses, they will not. 